All right, guys, welcome back to episode seven, I think. I think it's episode seven of our Minecraft Let's Play here. We had the best episode ever on the last episode. We found like 20 diamonds. We found like freaking 11 slime balls, so much iron, so much gold, so much coal. It was an incredible adventure down in our mines. And I just cannot believe we had such a good find down there as well. And we have plenty more to explore whenever I actually want to go back down there and explore it all. But today we're going to be on the surface. We might build a new mine entrance. We might do some pathway creation down to the water. We also have to plant our sugar cane so we can get an enchanting setup started. We got to work our way towards getting the enchanting set up first and foremost, though, because that will take some time to get all the bookshelves made from all the all the sugar cane and paper and stuff. So we got to really work on that. But let's go check on our chickens and our crops and everything. Our beautiful little pathway on this beautiful day here. Chickens! Hola, what's up? How are you chickens? You guys doing good? Let me go in there and collect all of your stuff real quick. Let me get a seed so that they don't just run out. All right, chickens. Let me get all your eggs and stuff. Follow me. There you go. All right. Boop. And then we'll, we just keep putting them in here because we already have a lot of chickens and we, we still have a ton of chicken here, as you can see. I've been eating it nonstop every time I need food and uh, we still got like two full stacks of 64 cooked chicken there. So I don't even need to kill any of the chickens yet. We're still going to be in the process of breeding them up and getting even more chickens here. So let me grab some seeds and we'll go ahead and do that. All right, come on, chickens. Let's do it. Do the thing. Yeah, make love, breed, do the thing. Do passionate love stuff. Yeah, there you go. Get us all the all the baby chickens. Yeah, get us all the baby chickens. Okay, I think, I think that's all of them. I think. Boop, boop. And because this chest is actually full, we're going to take the rest of our eggs here and just throw them up into the air so that way we can get all of the eggs out of our inventory. Ooh, there's two. There we go. So we got two more baby chickens from all those eggs. Now let's go take care of our crops to replenish the seeds I just used on our chicken. And actually looking at our crops here, it looks like some of our crops, most of them actually aren't done. We have lots of ungrown carrots and ungrown wheat. We have some spots over there in the beetroots that aren't actually done yet. So I might come back at the end of the episode and do some of our crops and stuff, give them a little bit more time to grow so we can let some of these little tiny carrots and beetroots and stuff kind of finish their growing process and stuff like that. And eventually what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the carrots and we're going to put them to probably right about here-ish. So they have this whole plot there, maybe even up to here because we don't need beetroots. I still don't know what those are used for. So I'd rather have more potatoes than beetroots. So we might split it up to like here, uh, kind of do about half and half beetroots and carrots or beetroots and potatoes, I mean. But... Like I said, we are going to be focusing a little bit on our sugarcane and getting paper and doing all that stuff because if we look here, we do have a lot of sugarcane. I'm actually going to take the whole thing. So we have 18 sugarcane right here. And I think there was more out by that ice biome that we had, but I don't know where there was anymore. So we've got 18 on us and we could, of course, get more. So we have to go plant it down by the water because I don't really have a big enough source to really utilize all these 18 sugarcane like that. And then once we get these planted, this will give us a great head start towards getting some paper, getting some bookshelves, and then that'll allow us to get our enchanting setup started. Because we did find some diamond, we found enough to where we could make a couple tools and get our enchanting table started as well. So we're actually... I hear a zombie? Oh, is he in like the cave thing over here? There's like a little hole in the ground over here. Are you over here, Mr. Man? Yeah, he's probably down there. Let me let me go light this up real quick because this is constantly filled up with, with zombies and skeletons and stuff. Hi! There you are. Yeah, alright. Let's go down here and start lighting this up so no one can spawn down here again. Alright, so that takes care of that little hole there. Let's go back and do our original plan of planting this sugarcane. I'm also going to dump this, this rotten flesh in the water. All right, so I was thinking of just planting it along here, and we'll start more like in the middle because this is kind of where we would be running from, so I want to put it like here. 
There we go. Get all that sugarcane actually planted and we'll let that start growing. I have to check back on that frequently because I forget how fast sugarcane takes to actually fully grow. And I think it only grows to like four tall, four or five tall. I think it's four tall though. So now let's head back to our base here. And this is kind of what I was talking about, by the way, in the other episode where I mentioned how this whole thing is covered in forest. Like we've got the forest up on those hills. And of course, our base is in a forest as well. But you can really just see how many trees are down here and like how thick the, the forestation, forestation, is that a word? It is now. How thick the forest actually is around here. Like I only stopped building my pathway right about there. So this is the end of our thing here. And we have all of this down here, this whole giant hill covered in trees here. So like you can really, I might even include some B-roll of like a bird's eye view of just how much forest is actually around us. Everywhere we go is covered in trees, which you know, that is good if you need to make a big project out of wood so you can get a lot of it from the forest that we are in. But at the same time, it kind of coats the ground with so many trees that daytime doesn't even burn away the zombies and skeletons and stuff. So that way you just, you kind of have to be careful exploring the forest because there it's so, there's so much shade that you could really have any kind of creatures in it. So, and of course I did do a tiny bit of, uh, of clearing out some coal and some of the nearby cliffs, just the, just the surface level exposed coal that you would see on like cliffs and stuff. So I was able to pick up just um, almost two stacks of 64 coal additionally. So we'll actually put, I think it's 32 in this one. That's the other one. Yeah. So th that one needed 32. The rest of them do have 32, but now check this out. So from the last episode, we got this much iron, this much iron, this much iron, and then 16 more. So we have a ton of iron. And then we've got 64 gold there and six gold there. Look at that though. Look at how much iron we have now. And I'm going to turn all this into blocks for him real quick. Boom. There we go. 23 more iron blocks. And we've got seven more gold blocks. Wow. That's so cool. Boop. And then boop, boop, boop. Look at this. So we have 40 blocks of iron, eight blocks of lapis, over 64 blocks of copper. We don't need more of that. We have eight blocks of gold, nine blocks of redstone. We have 15 gold ingots. We could turn into uh, gold blocks, but I like to keep a little bit there just in case I need to like have a few ingots on the side. And of course, like I said, we found 11 slime balls and 20, 20 diamonds, 20. So we're going to keep it. I think it's, is it two? I think it's two for the enchanting table. And then we're going to use probably uh, three for a pickaxe. We might make an entire thing of, of tools out of diamond, which would be awesome. So we'll have like a pickaxe, shovel, axe, sword, all that stuff like that. I don't think we're going to fully switch away from iron tools just yet because I don't want to waste all 20 of my diamonds and all of my diamond tools on kind of where we are right now. We're still like, I need to get a better um, amount of diamonds before I feel comfortable fully switching to diamond and stuff like that. So maybe once we get our enchanting table set up and I can enchant them with like efficiency and fortune and a bunch of other unbreaking stuff so that they last longer, maybe then I'll feel, I'll feel more comfortable going to full diamonds. But until then, I do want to utilize the iron that we have to kind of make a lot of disposable iron tools and stuff. There, and I actually had enough leftover coal to where I could actually fill up the rest of these bottom furnaces we used to smelt stuff, and now they're all back up to 32. So the entire wall of furnaces here is at 32 coal. That's awesome. I will actually also break down these furnaces because we don't really need them anymore. We have an entire wall down there. These were like my quick access furnaces if I needed to smelt a couple things real quick, but we just kind of can, we can just go downstairs for that. All right, it is now daytime again. So what I did want to do really quickly while I'm at it, while I'm in my house, is I also wanted to break a little thing right here. We're going to make a door right there so I can just have a front door and a back door that I can use to easily access my plants instead of having to run all the way around my house. And hopefully, do I still have a door down here? I don't think I do. I don't think I have a door in any of my chests, right? Nope, I don't think I have a door. I have to make a door. Dang it, I always... I, <laughs> I hate having to make doors. Like, the reason I hate having to make doors is simply because they give you three. I've never understood why they give you three doors when you're only going to need, like, one or two. I always seem to have one or two extra doors when I'm making a door, and I hate it. <laughs> There we go. So now we just have a, a little back door there that we can use to access our plants super easily. And are these? Maybe these are fully grown. 
I don't know if these carrots are fully, or these potatoes are fully grown. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta do this too. I totally forgot to change out the uh, planks on it. So that way it looks better like that. And then we might even make a little tiny balcony up here at some point too, because that would be kind of nice to be able to like walk out onto like a small little balcony, even like a one or two block thing and be able to look out. And then if we do that, we could use that as like an awning or something like that above our little back patio here. So we maybe could put like some stone brick on the back here to give us like a little backyard area. That'd be kind of cute looking. And then of course, everybody say hi to Casper. Hi. Boop. I'm sure the comments are going to want to boop your snoot. So that's boop. Oh, I just realized this, this tree right here actually grew finally, but it grew kind of weird. I might, I might redo that tree because that, that doesn't, eh. I was hoping for something like this or like that, you know, like these, one of those big, magnificent tree things here, these big, uh, with lots of arms and stuff. I was hoping for one of those, but it didn't do that. So I might actually chop this one down and regrow it. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I do that? Hmm. See, and I was thinking about planting some more trees along this path here so we could have like some actual foresting around our path just a little bit more. But then I realized I do want to kind of extend our little uh, little pens and stuff, our little chicken coops or cow areas. Or the areas we're going to store our cows and chickens and, you know, pigs and stuff, they're going to go about right here. So I don't want to actually put too much stuff there. And I might even chop down that tree eventually, maybe. Who knows? All right, so after some consideration of what we can actually spend our day doing today, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to start chopping down some of these trees because we have our sugarcane planted. We're waiting for our crops to grow. And I do want to redesign the mine at some point, but I want to spend some more time really thinking of how to design it because like I have an idea, but I don't have it like finalized in my head of what it would actually look like. So instead of wasting, you know, or not wasting, but using like, you know, 30, 45 minutes trying to design a cave entrance and not liking it, I'll just spend that time chopping down some trees real quick and we'll get our stockpile of wood back up. It'll be, it'll be awesome. We might even make the path if we have enough time too. So that's at least what we're going to start today off by doing is that's our big project for right now is chopping down some trees and getting our, our deforestation on.
All right, so I did a little bit of chopping here, probably about 30 minutes or so, roughly, of chopping. And as you can see, our view is vastly different here without this massive tree line there. So, of course, I did chop down a lot of trees here, but we will be replanting some of them as we go through and make our pathways and everything like that. Like, we'll be replanting them. Same thing we did over there with our, our main pathways. We chop down all the stuff, and then we make our own little pathway, and then we replant whatever we want to to make it, you know, kind of pretty and add our sense of beauty back to the world again once we kind of make our main section here. But I did have some creeper explosions. Unfortunately, I had some creeper problems that kind of blew up some of the hill stuff. So I got to fill those in. And we got to fill in maybe some of these. Or at least maybe put like a, a cover on it because these just lead nowhere. That one might lead somewhere. It has a big drop off there. But as you can see, I kind of lit up all the way down towards uh, the water here where our sugar cane has made some good progress. So... So our sugar cane is making some good progress here. Lovely to see that as well. And in terms of the amount of stuff that I got, we got a ton of wood. We got about a little over a stack of 64 birch, over three stacks, almost four stacks of 64 oak. We got two stacks of saplings, 31 birch saplings, and 11 apples. And of course, I was already able to take the amount of sticks that we had, and I made some torches out of it. So this is what we have after me making some torches so we have just about a stack and a half a little over stack and a half of sticks and uh it is it is going really well so i'm gonna take all these materials and i'm gonna drop them off in our chest over there and then i might uh i don't know if i, I don't know if we're gonna build the path we might build the pathway out here but i don't know what i'm gonna do after that so looking over this land here, I think the path we're going to take is I'm going to I'm going to bring some dirt. I'm going to fill in all of this here so it's a bit more level and a bit more even as we kind of flow down the hill here. I think the the plan for the path is to follow this cut out here, kind of going out and around this hill and then down through here to the water. So just kind of going up around around the hill and back to our thing there. That sounds like a cool little idea and then we'll of course fill in the sides with trees and everything make the pathway look all nice and I got to fill in all these spots with dirt and stuff as well. So that's that's what I think the plan is. That's kind of what the visuals are showing me here that like I could probably cut this hill down a little bit so it kind of doesn't isn't such an aggressive curve, but I do kind of like the idea of like a winding foresty path here. So but it does look really nice already without all these trees here. And man, these trees you can see are really clumped up. There was parts with like three or four trees, like two blocks from each other. So I had to go through and separate them like this. Like there's so many trees here that even if I chop down one, the leaves don't despawn until I separate the leaves and then they start to despawn. So that took a little bit of, of cleaning up to get some of these leaves to be actually uh, like separate so that way they actually could despawn. But the, you know, stuff like this is all over. There, so now we have a large amount of oak wood. We need more spruce. I gotta go on a spruce chopping spree as well. So that way we can have more spruce logs up here as well. But we got finally more oak and more birch. So we're no longer like poor on wood. And we have our lots of saplings here. And as you can see, we have some spruce saplings. I could go plant some and chop some more down. But I think we'll just go into the forest and start doing some chopping up there. So... We'll put our excess amount of sticks away and we'll keep some of these on us like that for the emergency torches and we'll put them like that. Cool. All right, so I got some dirt. Let's go through and fill in some of these little spots on these pathways here. So we're going to start out by filling out some of these creeper holes from like forever ago and some of the ones that we had just a little bit ago when I was chopping down some of those trees too.
All right, so the pathway has been dug. A lot of the uh, spots have been filled in. Let's go check it out. And I have the materials to actually make our little pathway here to kind of extend it. But as you can see, it's going to go around through here. I did cut back this hill a little bit. So it's going to go around through there, and then it's going to go all the way down to the water there. I only stopped about there because I didn't know how we were going to do the edge there. But that's where the actual sugar cane is, but... Uh, we do have the pathway fully built. The trenches are kind of dug. So now we're just going to go fill it all in and see how it ends up actually looking. I also thought this would be a cool little spot for like a little Zen garden or like a lake or something like that. Maybe, you know, getting some cool little fish or something if we want and just kind of fill it in, put some plants around it, make it look all nice and Zen garden like, especially on our way down to the water there. It would be nice to have like some cool things on the sides here, maybe like some buildings or some other things like that as we go down. So that's what it's going to look like. And and let's start building the pathway. Alright guys, the pathway is completed, or at least completed so far. That took probably, that took a bit of time actually to build. I don't even know how long that was. That was a bit of time to build. Hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse of that build, by the way. But let's check out the pathway so far. As you can see, I still haven't planted some of the trees, but I will be planting those at the end of this episode. So that way by time, hopefully by time the next episode rolls around, we will have some fully grown trees and this pathway will be a bit prettier with some more foliage and, and stuff like that going around. But you can see we have some bushes, we have some overgrown grass and we have some rose bushes and things like that going around. We have some good looking scenery going around here. I love the way this turned out. Out. And I might, again, fix up the road. I don't know if it's fully finalized or fully done yet, but look at how this looks. This is so pretty as you walk down. I just love all the color and the way that like, and these stairs, by the way, uh, what I might end up doing is I might put some, uh, some like half slabs here so that way you can just kind of walk up them. It's less 
blocky and more just like a smooth incline. Um, or if I can maybe find a way like maybe some uh, spruce half slab, something that's more ground colored, more of a, a darker color to kind of fit the ground. That might be what I do for that so that it kind of blends in a bit more with the actual ground. But look at this freaking pathway. It looks so good. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this cool little pathway. And uh, did I use too many lanterns? I don't know if I used too many lanterns, but I really wanted this to be lit up because this area can spawn a lot of enemies. So I didn't want our pathway to have any enemy on it, like a creeper, to blow it up because I, I like the way it looks. So I want to keep it looking good. And of course, to check on our sugarcane, it actually looks like they're all fully grown. Yeah, it looks like they're all fully grown. Do they only grow three tall or do they grow four? I think the fact that they're all the same height means that they're all done. Okay, so now we have we have 36 sugarcane. I'm gonna plant a few more here, and we're just gonna get some like that. So we can get just a few more sugarcane out of this, but we already have a good chunk. That was a really good amount. There we go, just like that. Coat this entire area in sugarcane. And I didn't put the pathway down this little hill here because I don't know what we're gonna do with this just yet. Um, I think this is gonna be our dock for like our boat and stuff whenever we Oh, it's a fish. Uh, for whenever we actually go set sail out towards the ocean, this is going to be our dock. But I don't know what the dock is going to look like, so I kind of left it open for right now. But uh, this looks amazing. This looks so good. Hopefully, you enjoyed the time lapse of that. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the building process so far of this little area. I know I have. This has been super fun for me to get back into the creative process of building in Minecraft and uh, just kind of letting it all be. I even got some grass here in the middle just because, you know, I feel like that looks nice to have a kind of an overgrown look on on not just the outsides, but on the inside with the grass, too. So I like it. I think this looks really nice. Hopefully you guys do, too. But I do think that will actually do it for today. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Like the video if you did enjoy this. And thank you all so much for the love and support on these recent videos for Minecraft. You guys have been loving them. I've been loving it. And it's been awesome to see so many new people coming in here and giving me so many compliments on this. This is my very first Minecraft series ever. Like, I've never actually made a YouTube series for Minecraft at all, so this is my very first one, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And and thank you so much for actually all of the uh, the helpful tips and tricks and everything in the comments down below letting me know about, like, the new, the new depth of the world for mining and how, like, ores spawn and the names of items and things like that and what they're used for. That is very helpful for me because I haven't played this game in about four or five years, so I've missed a lot of the major updates. So even my old school Minecraft knowledge is only somewhat helpful here because there's a lot of new stuff that I have no idea about. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, guys. I did chop down a lot of trees, but we will, we will be... Blah, 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 blah. And of course, I did chop down a lot of trees, but we will be... We will be... We, 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 we. So of course I did chop down a lot of trees here, but we will be replanting some of them as we go through and make our pathways.